Here we have a seven month old English Cocker, little boy, in a pet home, and we are going to um, do his feet up. So the first thing I would do would be to grab the feet, lift him up, and I do not go inside of the pads when I'm trimming. I just do the bottoms. The reason I don't go into the pads, but I will feel if there's a mat in there, I will take them out. I want their protection of the hair and the pads. We're gonna stand him up to face, and unfortunately he's twisting. Position the legs. You're gonna take your scissors and lay them on the table. Come on, dude, stand straight. We're on the outside of the foot, the inside of the foot, outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Now, for the age of this puppy, he's actually standing pretty straight on his feet. If he was towing out or towing in, mostly towing out at this age for a boy, I would do a little bit of corrective trimming. Come on, stand up. Good boy. Stand up. It's always best to keep them standing when you're doing the feet if you possibly can because it puts the full weight on that foot. I'm just going to bevel back, make the foot round because it, our standard calls for a tight, thick, round foot. A lot of uh, new beginners, they tend to make a pointy foot in the front and you don't want that, you want a round foot. Stop. And this is not the most cooperative puppy I've worked on. actually not getting the look of the foot that I want. So for a show puppy, I would continue to bevel and round and bevel and go round, but for a pet, you just want to make it nice and tight and close, but we never shave the feet unless they're doing hunting.
puppy. So when you gather up the hair as they get older, it's longer. You still want to cut it off even with the back of the pad. Okay, and then the next step that we would do, should we put it on the video or just continue? Uh. Would be to blend in the legs. And this is all puppy coat. So as you're using thinners, you're going to be bouncing as you're cutting. want it to look natural. If you make a straight line right here, when the dog goes to move, all of this hair here is gonna move forward because there's nothing to stop it. If you blend it in, then you're gonna have a smooth line that looks more natural and the hair won't be coming forward. Same thing with up here on the neck, we're going to be thinning this back because it's way too thick. Up here you don't bounce, it's more of a blending motion, so you're closer in. Down here it's more of a bouncing motion. And for a seven-month-old baby with just his second professional groom, he's actually doing fairly decently. So as it gets older, the line that you're going to want, I'm trying to stay out of the camera's way here. You go from the loin down here. So it's that line. And the next time we'll do the rear.